呃，看我是用中文讲还是用英文讲 ？I would just debate myself whether I speak in Chinese or English, but I find most of here are international faces, diverse faces. 呃，比如说，那我还是用英文讲嘛。I speak in English. I heard a wonderful speeches just now for four outstanding, wonderful talkers. And I have to say, I have some, I have some very, very um, common uh, feelings. What they delivered to me is a cultural philosophy. Philosophy, but to me, the cultural philosophy is very, very important, which influenced my career, my artistic decisions, the concept, and the music creations. For example, as a, a uh, UNESCO's uh, ambassador to me how to work with UNESCO and how to deliver whatever UNESCO wants to achieve to uh, deliver it for all kinds of uh, future signals or goodwill uh, culture uh, to me is a uh, it's a philosophy actually it's a cultural philosophy why I'm saying that is because uh, I give you a uh, three examples. One, the past, what I have done. I, as a student, of course, you automatically achieving the greatest music history. You want to be a Beethoven. Then you find it's impossible to be a Beethoven because it's no longer a Beethoven age. Then you have to come up with an updated music philosophy, artistic philosophy, how could be a today's Beethoven. Then I find Beethoven's music theory, although about the field, although about the nature, but everything is chromatically made. Music is made of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. Anyway, it's the simple word. Chromatic system using the scales forming the sonority, forming the chords, forming the melody, form the rhythm. But in China, I find it very interesting. Thousands of years history, people using the organic sound to make their music. Then I find this tradition has been lost. Why not me doing something with it? Because I was the bare fit sort of a boy, a wild boy, growing up in Hunan province. And since I had this Beethoven dream, then of course all those childhood memory comes back. So I start to work with another system, combining with a chromatic system, which is called, I call the organic music system, using the gestures, using the sound sonorities, using the shape of the nature, to make my orchestrations, make my melody, make my rhythms. So I composed the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I composed Hero, I composed a lot of film music, but I also made my water music, my earth music, which treat the earth as an instrument. Salute to Gustav Mahler's song, song of earth, but I take it as a sound of earth. I use all kinds of ceramic music instruments making with the symphony orchestra. Then I also want to comp I composed the wind music using the paper. All kinds of paper carry sounds of the wind. Then I did my uh, architecture music using the architect architecture dreams shapes with, with working with music. Then I worked with the garden opera using Chinese kunqu and, and to, to, to work with all kinds of garden, gardens in the world to, to uh, reactivating the, the sleeping beauties of all Chinese oriental gardens around the world. Then uh, what I want to work with the, uh, UNESCO is I want to uh, recently I'm working on Nu Su, which is the secret song, secret language of women, only secret 
woman language in the world. And that has been uh, vanishing. And only a few very, very old women knowing that. Since five years, I started to make a film and uh, written down like a Bela Bartok, Hungarian composer, my hero. Right now, whatever vanishing now in the field, in the history, and I made 13 films on those vanishing language and the sacred language of the woman. And a beautiful, incredible, incredible, beautiful sound, song, and visuals. And this language, of course, is only a few uh, very, very old women know, but I'm thinking we have to create a women secret philosophy for all, not just for this dying tradition, but for all kinds of women's thought and the product and the cultures. This is the only way to make things to survive in the modern day. Because I'm not a, a anthropologist, I am not a historian, I am not a muse uh, museum builder, but I'm a, a artist. What we can do is to create not just a piece, not just an art, not just the music, but we need to create a cultural philosopher, philosophy to make all kinds of people in the world to participate for like this, how to pro pro prevent, keep this dying tradition of a new school, which is a woman's secret language. I think what I want to do is to create a modern website, modern way, or modern secret website for women's communication on their thought, on their product, on their philosophy, and the way like the ancient women through this ancient language talk about how they continued the value of family, the value of society, nurtured husband, not just the husband, nurtured actually, everything the man made, man's language, man's music, man's design, man's whatever society, man's university, man's whatever. But actually, everything behind the man's whatever is the real, is the mother, is the daughter, is the sister. So that's what I'm doing to create a new school, artistic philosophy for the dying arts. And uh, next few things I am continue to do with UNESCO is also I'm working with New Zealand, Australia, China, Europe. I want to make uh, my bird project. You know, in China, Chinese music instruments always start with a bird singing. You know, every single Chinese instrument. Of course, you can also find it in violin, bells, flute. The bird music is very important. So my next project is the bird project. Bird ask, where is the forest? So through that, to create another cultural philosophy, everybody could participate. And what is the meaning to make music? So to me, I'm a Chinese musician, but I want to create a music philosophy. Everybody could share, participate in my music and my theory. I wish my music, I wish Chinese music could be told in the world music institutions, but I also Thinks Chinese conservatory, Chinese music school should teach all the world music, world tradition too. Thank you.